Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Danny Malone. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Danny. Hi. Um, it's, it's me. I, like, really, really, really don't want things to be weird. Um, but we had just always said that if we ever needed each other... Like, I, like, really didn't think that I was going to be the one to break the three years of silence. But, um, I need your help. Because my cat's missing. Mila's missing. It's been, like, a couple days now, and I just, I haven't seen her. And anyway, I just remember that the microchip was registered with your name and phone number. I know it's Saturday, so, like, I'm, I'm sure you have plans. I mean, I also have plans. Like, I, I'm, I'm a really busy, busy girl. I'm a busy woman. I'm a really busy woman. But with, with the cat missing, it just kind of took my, took my top priority. Um, anyway, uh, love you. Bye. to an automatic voice message system. Danny Malone. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, me again. Okay, so listen, I just wanted to be clear. Like when I said I love you, that was like a gut instinct, you know? Like not like in my gut, I still am in love with you. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's, it's kind of like, like, you know when you talk to a friend and you say them and you say, okay, bye, I love you. Like that's what I meant. Not that we're friends, because I know that we're, we're not friends because we're like really not talking a lot anymore. Not that I don't think that we could be friends. I, I think that we could. I just, um, anyway, I, th I think I gotta go because, um, my boyfriend's calling me. Um, so one second, Josh, I'll be right there. Uh, okay. Um, sorry about this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Me again. It's funny. I mean, like, we haven't talked in three years, but, like, once I open the floodgates, I just feel like I can't stop blabbing. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. But this is nice, you know? Like, it's just, it's really good to, it's really good to hear your voice on the voice, on the voicemail. I, I haven't heard your voice in so long. Like, it's just nice to call and, like, be, like, talking. Like, I know we're not, like, actually talking, but we're sort of talking. I mean, we could be talking. I work at a perfume store now. I don't know if you knew that about me. I don't, like, know anything about perfume or, like, wear it or anything like that. It, it mostly just makes me sneeze, so I'm just, like, doing a lot of sneezing these days. I have no idea why I work there. They definitely should fire me. <laughs> My old room had a bee's nest outside the window, and I just could not sleep at night knowing it was there. When I needed to sleep, I, like, had these wild dreams about bees coming in and sticking my whole body. Anyway, the apartment across the hall is the exact same apartment, just for $1,000 more a month. So, it turns out gentrification is no joke. I probably just should have stuck with the apartment with the bees, though. It was rent-controlled. Now I can't even afford Netflix. I'm ordering newspapers now. Yeah, so, like, I'm ordering them from, like, New York, and then I have one from, like, the scary states like Oklahoma, just so I can, like, really understand what, like, the other side is saying. And the other side is not happy. I got an app that just, like, tracks my spending, and now I'm just, like, lean cuisines. Like, that's all I eat, you know? Before I went out all the time, like, I was, like, going out and ordering wine, and now I'm, like, I eat lean cuisines. Like, I don't know why I like the red meat ones more, but, like, the chicken just feels really, really slimy. And the fish stinks. Like, you have the fish, it stinks. Like, you don't even know where that fish comes from. I took the plunge and finally got into online banking. Except, unfortunately, my landlord, he only accepts paper checks. So I'm, like, completely paperless except for the paper checks. And then also the post-it notes that I hang around my apartment to remind myself to pay the rent. So I just moved. So I had to order all these new checks. And when they came, they have apartment 205 on them instead of apartment 206. In order to change the address in your checkbook, you have to change it in account preferences. And then in order to change it in account preferences, they have to ask you the security question. And it's... Who's your best friend? And I just... I didn't really know what to say, you know? And I was like... Kind of racking my brain. I was like, who was my best friend in that time? And I... I thought maybe it was Alyssa, but that didn't work. And I... Tried a couple... Um... Anyway, um, sorry.
You're my only friend.